Your Excellencies, Heads of State and Government, Honorable Ministers, Distinguished Participants, good morning. It is my great uh, pleasure and privilege to extend my warm greetings to you on this historic occasion of the inaugural Ministerial Forum on the Africa Center for Disease Control. I take cognizance of the efforts made to put in place appropriate mechanisms and strategies to ensure a health secure Africa for the common good of our continent. Your Excellencies, the health sector is a key pillar of our agenda 2063, focusing on building resilient health systems powered by technology and innovation. The last three years have taught us the importance of a robust health sector following the example of global response to COVID-19 pandemic. Political goodwill was found as the greatest ingredient for world leaders to work together, cooperate, and coordinate efforts for the betterment of humanity. Your Excellencies, inclusivity should be embraced audaciously. For a long time, Africa suffered consequences of isolation from global health conversation. With time, benefit sharing is a term that gained momentum over the last three years when African countries, such as Kenya, participated in the development of different vaccines. In addition, trials and genotyping information were freely shared However, after the vaccines underwent regulatory review and approval, an equivalent benefit of the aforementioned technology shared was not realized by African countries. The new public health order is therefore necessary to safeguard our African continent from a myriad of threats to health, reproductive rights, and socioeconomic security. It is even more essential to achieve health security in the face of emerging and re-emerging health threats such as COVID-19, Ebola, among others. To this end, the new public health order focuses on prevention and preparedness as key pillars in health service delivery. A strong healthcare system base will ensure that uncomplicated health cases can be managed in primary health care facilities and those needing referrals can be processed through the health referral system. This will save time, save funds and energy, all of which are scarce resources, especially in our health systems. Your Excellencies, I call upon ministers of health to be more proactive and work closely with Africa CDC in finding solutions and establishing especially manufacturing facilities. This should be aimed at identifying health products for local manufacturing including diagnostics, therapeutics, vaccines and items such as personal protective equipment. I further challenge ministers of health to be more innovative and more involved in the governance of Africa CDC and its activities to make it the organization of choice to go to during disease outbreak and health emergencies. Excellencies, fellow heads of state and government, I encourage that we keep an eye on Africa CDC. This will be a sure way to guide the continent's health security agenda through the new public health order. In this regard, Kenya hosts the Eastern Region Office and my government has made a firm commitment to provide Africa CDC Eastern Region Coordination Center with the necessary facilities and support to ensure its full operation to serve the region effectively.
I am honored to stand shoulder to shoulder with fellow African leaders in this conversation on strengthening Africa CDC. I wish and I will be convening a meeting with the African leadership to deliberate on local manufacturing of health products. The Cabinet Secretary for Ministry of Health of the Republic of Kenya is currently working on proposed modalities to fast track commitments, and these will be shared for adoption so that we can secure the place of our continent, especially when health emergencies emerge. The Africa Center for Disease Control is testament to our unwavering commitment to ensuring health and the well-being of our people. I am confident that through our collective effort, we can build a more resilient and a more proactive health system for our continent. Allow me to express my very sincere appreciation to the Africa Union for the tireless efforts in bringing this important initiative to fruition. Your vision and leadership are truly commendable. I would also like to extend my heartfelt gratitude to each and every one of you for your dedication and commitment to this cause. Together, let us work towards a brighter and healthier future for Africa and its people. I thank you.